Hey guys, I'm back again. I just wanted to show you the new amplifier that I built. Um, if you watched the videos, then you're, you would have seen how I did this. I have not. I'm going to point out some of the features and why I built this. This is a testing amplifier for me to be able to test speakers uh, that I'm getting ready to build um, or to use it on something like a game system. You could also make something like this to be portable. So if you wanted to uh, use it with a a battery pack or something of that nature, you actually could make this into a portable unit if you wanted to. You just need to follow the instructions that I gave earlier. Now, what you'll notice is the back has two sets of binding posts, red and black, red and black. Um, that's for left and right. The way I built it, I put the binding posts on the bottom. I know that's not typical, but that's the way it fit best in there. And so this is my right-hand side, and this is my left-hand side. you also notice I have a power jack, and then I have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now the reason why I used the 3.5 millimeter jack was twofold. One, because of space that was limited. And two, you can plug up RCAs even to a 3.5 millimeter jack. You just need a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable. And so there's really no reason to do anything other than that when you're limited in space. Um, as far as layout on here, you could change these. If I were to do it again, I'd probably space these out a little bit further, but otherwise I'm very happy with it. It sounds great. One of the other things I have not talked about yet is the potentiometer. We have a switched linear potentiometer, meaning the switch, if you hear that click, that's turning on and off the amplifier. And so that's power source. The other thing that we got is it will give you even volume going up and down the spectrum, which is what you need if you're going to have an amplifier like this. Now, these banana, I'm sorry, these jacks on the back can either take a banana plug or you can unscrew them and put speaker wire in them. I always uh, try to use banana plugs when I can. So let's plug it up and play some music for you so that you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to play Fur Elise by Beethoven. And so it's playing right now. Now you don't hear anything because I switched it off. So let's turn it on. And see, now see the volume going up very slowly. All right, guys, this concludes the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the overview and noticing how even the amp turns up. If you want to build it, it's pretty simple. Uh, just follow the instructions I gave you earlier. And I would watch that video. I am providing you this right now, which is an overview of the wiring that we did in the previous video. And although you can follow this directly to the T if you wanted to, I think it's worth watching the other video so that you get an idea of everything that we did to the board, such as what we needed to desolder and other things which are not shown on this diagram. And not to mention how to drill properly into the box. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And as always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will continue to get some videos out to you. All right, guys, have a great night.